Hello everyone, I am Dr. Eric Morrison. This is 7 out of 3, and I'll be covering trading education using the TC2000 and TradingView platforms. Hello, this is the stock indice review for the 23rd of February, and it's been a pretty tumultuous week. It was a short week with the market holiday, and markets opening up on Tuesday, then with NVIDIA posting its earnings, reversed the entire market. And I have never seen anything like that before, ever. There were weekly pre-market reversals on FNGU, Hibble, SoxL, SPXL, TechL, TQQ, UBOT, UPRO, WebL, and of course NVIDIA, which lifted the entire market. And not only the U.S. markets, but the world markets too as well. Lifted China, lifted the European markets. Incredible earnings and effect that NVIDIA had on the world market. So interesting notes, weekly reversals or weekly pre-market reversals are very rare and very profitable there the next day. So going into the week, pretty much people had started to sell off the market until NVIDIA's earnings happened and then everybody bought back into it. Looking at natural gas, continues to be overall downtrend, both on the weekly and the daily. We almost have a collapsing dragon here again. U.S. oil has also lost ground, starting to show some weakness here, not only on the weekly, but also on the daily. 20-year is continuing to collapse and move down. We got overall support here at around 96. Two-year moving down. Five-year treasuries overall are all moving down for the most part, except for the 10-year. seems to be showing a little bit of life both on the weekly and on the daily. Russell, a little hesitant about this overall NVIDIA claim, but it's still recovered on Friday and Thursday. Gold began to shoot up as the dollar continued to move down. Gold started moving up. We do have a point figure target of 23.71 to the upside for gold. It would also mark potential movement to the upside. Same for the Russell, 34.89. S&P, of course, the movement after this a little dip here, 61.98. NASDAQ also having a target at 25,128. And the Dow. 47,956 after this initial dip and move. Incredible pressure to the upside. Dollar continues to weaken, especially on the weekly. We've got an up thrust here on the Wyckoff and continued movement to the downside with an overall point figure target of 92.329. If it continues to break through this overall support here on these point figure liquidity zones, we could see an overall drop to 101.5 and the market just rock it up. If it starts to gain strength, because right now it is in a current building pressure zone and it stopped right at the RL270. So there's nothing to say that this market will continue to go down other than it does have targets to that effect. It gets back over 105 mark here or this point figure it will shoot all the way up to the 107 area where the Z3 is back at the 108 level. So this is building up pressure here within these two zones and we'll see where it goes. If it starts to go up, the market will correct. If it goes down, the market will move up. We'll see. Now, one of the reasons when I trade this, I don't like gaps. I hate gaps, especially if you're trading and you run into something like NVIDIA did where it reversed the entire markets. If you're caught in a gap, which could potentially be either a black swan event or a rocket ship to where you're caught in a lot of traders were caught on those shorts on NVIDIA. You have unlimited liability. And that's a hard thing for me to sleep on. So what I'll show you first is the daily trades where you can control your losses and better risk management than to get caught with a short covering that gapped up. Uh, first overall trade on the daily was Beto. Now our overall loss on Friday for $40. Bank U, some nice gains overall here on Thursday and Friday for $190. Copper did wonderful this week. Nice gain on Tuesday, loss on Wednesday, nice overall gain. Good for the week for 200, but overall gain daily was only $20. Cure, overall loss on Tuesday, made it back up on Thursday and Friday, $1,720. DDM, overall gain, 
$730. Defense, gain of $230 for the week. Dig, gain of $610. Dussel, beautiful gains here, $1,603. EDC, just a $50 gain. EEM on the daily. Yes, I avoid all the gaps here. I'm missing out on a lot of gap profit, but I'm also missing out a lot of gap losses. EFA, $80. ERX. Nice overall gains on Thursday and Friday, $1,290. That's what I mean by avoiding the gaps. Earl, gain of $252. Bass was a wonderful gain overall. No trade on Tuesday, but overall from Wednesday through Friday, $3,620. Beautiful gains. Fly U, no overall trade. Only trade we had was on Thursday of $885. Next trade was IBB. Beautiful trades on Thursday and Friday of $2,460. JDST trades from Wednesday to Friday. Overall gain a little better than scratch, $50. KCE, overall gain of $515. LabU, wonderful gains here, $6,290. Medu, which is your mid cap, gains Wednesday through Friday, $2,210. Next one was Noble, overall gains of $860. Pill, gains of $210. Kifa, overall gains of $340. Retail, overall gains of $270. SDY, overall gains of $1,460. Now the treasuries were also making movement. First one is TBF, overall loss of $30. Then TBT, loss of $220. TBX, squeaked out a nice gain overall for Wednesday through Friday, $145. TMV, loss of $310. TNA, Gain of 670. T poor, gain of 555. Triple T, loss of 548. TYO, squeaked out again, 158. Yuko, overall loss of 210. URTY, gain of 780. XBI, gain of 1,340. XHE, gain of 1,170. XLB, gain of 900. XLE, gain of 970. XLF, gain of 460. XLI, Gain of 1,580. XLP, gain of 1,130. XLV, gain of 1,120. And that's all for the trend trades. Now, one thing that I want you to notice that if I went ahead and traded those overall trades based on 1,000 shares on the weekly with the gaps, would have been over 47K. However, I would have not have missed out on an overall potential black swan or missed out on a rocket ship by trading only during market hours, I can risk manage that. And I'd still have the gains trading a thousand shares with a profit over 35K. Now, whether you're trading a thousand shares or a hundred shares, that's still pretty good percentage by proportion to your overall risk. Everything is about ruthless risk management. If you can go ahead and say you're trading a hundred shares on all of those trades, instead of a $4,755 gain on a weekly trade sleeping through gaps, you still gain with open and closed trades based on risk management and pre-market data, $3,547 gain and getting a good night's sleep. I think that's a lot better than having a potential black swan or rocket ship happen while you're in a potential trade. Not much difference with better risk management going forward. Looking at oil, again, more movement to the downside. I mean, the Aussie market, movement to the upside. Same with the Swiss, China 50, Spain, Europe. Europe has just improved tremendously based off NVIDIA. France, the Nikkei, Netherlands, Singapore got a little weaker off of that. And then the UK also gained strength. Looking at the Magnificent 7, Apple, incredible losses, especially on Friday. Amazon continues to move up. Same with Google. Meta saw a little weakness for the week, even though that overall market reversal by NVIDIA. Netflix too as well. NVIDIA also saw a little bit of weakness on Friday. Tesla continues to be weak with more price action to the downside after this weekly collapsing dragon. So we'll see what happens here with continued price action for Tesla. We've got an overall target for Tesla at 69. We still are waiting a target for NVIDIA. Target for Netflix is 1,051, Meta 595, Google 271, Amazon 264, 
and Apple still has an upward target even though it's moving to the downside and has gone weaker with an upward target of 225. Looking at the yields continue to move up for the five year, 10 year, a little bit of action to the downside on Friday. It's interesting on the 20 year and the 30 year. Bitcoin continues to move up aggressively as of Friday, moving down a little bit over the weekend. Well, folks, that's all I have for the stock indice review. We're currently conducting courses on this strategy, programming in both PineScript or Python, auto trading, and if you're interested in crowded market report and joining a community for the commitment of traders, whether it be trend trading in this case or picking turns for futures and forex using the commitment of traders, click on the links below. And remember, ruthless risk management. Have a great weekend, everybody, and I'll see you on Monday. Well, if you like this video, hit the like rumble button below and the subscribe button. And if you want more information, click the course information links below. On the TradingView link and on TC2000, I have an affiliate link. If you open up a TC2000 account, you will receive a $25 discount using that link. Thank you for your time.